Monster Hunter is a fun game that is, it's kind of like, um, geez. I really don't know how to do Have you ever played Dark Souls? Uh, I've seen it. Okay, but, think uh, of it like that, but instead of, instead you're trying fighting, you're fighting giant prehistoric like dragons and dinosaurs. Oh dang. Monster Hunter is really, really fun, but it's much, much more enjoyable friends. If you've never played a Monster Hunter game, I would tell you right now, like if you have a few friends who are down to play it, get the, it's a grind, but it's so fun. It, it's definitely a really fun game. Uh, but uh, we're definitely playing a pretty fun game right now here. That's gonna be Mabel versus Ness, of course, Mabel versus PK Chris, uh, which uh, sometimes so many players are just attached to their main that I almost feel like they become their main at times. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, when I used to play Dr. Mario in Smash 4 for one day for Halloween, I dressed up as him. Um, no more sword characters? Dude, I would love to see Monster Hunter. Uh, I would love to see that. There is the shield, the, the sword axe, which is like a sword and shield, and then it becomes a giant, like, axe. My favorite weapon in the game. The charge blade is dope, though. I have to get the charge blade. I want Neku will not be in this game. I want Neku to be in Smash, but Neku's, Neku's too niche of a character. Now, one thing that would be very interesting to me, if they add a Monster Hunter character to the game, I would think, because uh, the game, I, I, uh, I believe, uh, if I remember, uh, I think I've seen a little bit of it, though. Uh, you're allowed to have different types of classes, correct? Is that like, I'm, um, for Monster Hunter? Yeah. Well, no, you don't have classes, you have different weapons. I mean, kind of like... Yeah, okay. I feel like if, the, if there's different kinds of weapons, then they could be like Byleth in a way. Yeah, but Byleth is, it is, Byleth is kind of an interesting mix of like, what if we did have a Monster Hunter character? But Min Min is the perfect example of what if we really had a Monster Hunter character. Uh, yeah. But Monster Hunter side, man, we are seeing PK Chris and Maple and Maple down to stock. PK Chris looking to slowly get back on the stage. Maple with his back and to continue on this opportunities just to get back into the game dash attack everyone to cover that up with a jab man Mabel is not letting this lead that PK Chris stay out for long a nice down throw to the back air double back air and now Mabel's going for the downbeat holy cow that was very that was a very brave move right there but very rewarding as you can see oh getting hit by the magnet to back air Oh, using tornado. Uh, I think that's a uh, Doctor Cyclone. I believe is what it's called. Yeah, I I, just, I always just call it the Cyclone, but I'm not. Too, I, oh, that's gonna be tough oh. to tech there. Yeah. Oh, that's not, yep. Red Splash is usually the one thing that determines that. Okay, that was untackable. I would how close PK Chris was to pretty much Mabel. Yeah, I did not expect the tech to be happening, even when there was a critical hit there. Well, let's see how PK Chris comes back on this one. Oh, nice shield. Oh, Nair. Ooh, shouldn't do that with back air, but didn't. Uh, good shield coming from Mabel. All right, having to get back to stage. Oh, yeah. PK, this is not a good spot for PK Chris right now. Oh, staying on the ledge. Oh, wow. Well, that was a very good read with the up smash. But yeah, that was not a smart move to stay on the ledge right there. The thing here for Mabel is Mabel had a really good understanding of just being able to use movement, but also for NPK Chris to feel safe coming out from the ledge and then knowing the common Ness options. Exactly. Ness will usually go for something like forward air off the ledge or Nair. And even if he doesn't, that up smash... Remember how I talked about how hurtbox shifting is so prominent in this game? That up smash moves Mario so far back that he's able to avoid something like fair and then punish immediately for it. So Mabel had a really good understanding of being able to use movement and neutral, which is literally half of neutral is within your movement, being able to pull that through. And then just understanding, I hold the center stage. How do I do that? How do I execute this? And also understanding a combination of PK Chris's common options as the character. Um... Yeah, I would love to see Monster Hunter in the game, but I, I don't, if Monster Hunter, if Monster Hunter was actually in the game, I think the character would be a heavyweight. I actually do think the character would definitely be heavy. I do think we will be getting some kind of Capcom character as like a DLC character. 
Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, more Capcom characters would be really cool, though. But getting back into the match, uh... PK Chris, uh, is still having a little trouble against, uh, Mabel right now. But, oh, that back air. Oh, nice DI way to avoid that side smash. Yeah. Pressure and the shield right there. That side smash is more of a directional air dodge check. And a lot of players tend to panic and they directional air dodge. And that's the check PK Chris on if he's going to, uh, give out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, doing that let go stage and use PK Thunder, uh, very good tool um, for PK Chris to get his opponent away from the ledge. Also using the neutral B. Dang. Oh, missed timing that uh, that uh, spot dodge right there. Very unfortunate. Oh, up throw, up air. Not doing uh, anything else afterwards. Uh, PK Chris is on the second stock, which he's not having a great time right now. Nice uh, nair right there. Is he gonna try to? Ooh, he tried to use back air and missing that up smash once again. Ah, very unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, back air against back air, but pretty much obviously they're using it as a spacing tool, but also the knock back to be able to send one another off the stage with their percents, man. You can just tell one back air away will keep, no pun intended, will keep the doctor away, especially for Ness. And that back air will keep this doctor away from coming back on the stage, and unfortunately, <laughs> to Maple's demise. But that's why we see both players constantly throw out these back airs. It's just the knockback for both of those back airs, ridiculous, man. You have to really give it to a lot of respect. That's the beauty and demise of Dr. Mario, like I said. Like, you trade in really great recovery, really strong combo game for more knockback. And that extra knockback, man, is going to come out to play and be this really strong remedy against PK Chris there on the stage. All right, right. Oh, shoot. Getting back up. I mean, my bad. Using uh, the up air uh, on the stage. Forward throw. Uh, getting PK Chris off, but now PK Chris has the stage control slightly and now back to neutral uh, But as you can see Mabel is actually doing really well nice forward throw coming out uh, Using the pill to keep PK Chris away Oh man down throw uh, Down throw to back here once again uh, nice bread and butter for dr. Mario Oh, backer coming out again. Yeah, those uh, backers keep catching PK Chris off guard. Oh, nice uh, use of the nair right there. Dash attack coming out. Uh, missing that uh, neutral B. Oh, is it going to follow it up? Oh, getting the sour spot of the back air. Very unfortunate. I'm oh, getting hit. Also getting hit by the get up attack. All right, now that he's hit that sweet spot of the back air, getting stage control. Oh, using up B on a shield, and that's gonna be it for PK Chris's last stop. What a surprise from Mabel, man. <laughs> the fact that that shield actually was able to survive the BK cross and then able to hit him with up B, which is a ridiculous knockback, by the way. That is definitely a meta view moment. <laughs> if, I've, if I've seen one between the set. Yeah, that was really good. Wow. Very good match between these uh, two players, uh, but we still have to get into one more game. Well, po this could be the possible last game for the set. So let's see if uh, PK Chris can come back and uh, I'm just going to check the predictions real quick. Uh, most people said PK Chris was going to win by 84%. 84% uh, thought that PK Chris was going to win. Uh, so, PK Chris is such a strong player, honestly. He was able to beat out Mr. E. Uh, but Mabel, man, being such a doc specialist himself, Dr. Mario is no slouch on Wi-Fi, man. Like I said, he trades in all... Remember, remember how we talked about how Marth and Lucina kind of work in tangent with one another in an interesting way? Yes, Marth rewards you for having those, you know, sour spot tippers and all those moves in that combo game, right? But the really big problem is that you just want to go for that knockback sometimes. That and that's what you want all together. In this case, when it requires high execution and almost frame perfect execution to be able to pull off Mario combos, 
having Dr. Mario, which doesn't need that and has better knockback, works so well for him off online more than offline. That's why I tell Mar like people, Dr. Mario is actually a really solid threat online more than offline. And trading in that combo game for the knockback game, the way that you would think Lucina and Martha in some cases, works so well for Maple, especially right now. You can see that double pill caused a little bit of pressure. Unfortunately, Mabel did not get that grab because we only saw him try to probably push him towards the ledge. All right, nice grab to forward throw. Oh, getting hit by that uh, the PK fire though. Oh, and missing the grab as well. Yeah, PK Chris is stepping up his game this, uh, this match right now. And this whole set, they've been going PS2, which is very interesting. Um, I honestly feel like PK, uh, if PK Chris would have changed the stage, he probably would have been at better advantage. But Mabel right there, getting uh, getting hit by the uh, PK Thunder while trying to uh, two-frame him. But getting hit by the fair, uh, PK Chris has just lost his first stock. And Mabel, Mabel right now is uh, sitting at his, uh, over 100%. So that's not good right now for Mabel. So let's see how this ends out for our uh, home players. PK Thunder coming out. Oh, down throw to up air. And the pill not hitting. Oh, run up to shield on the... That was a very dangerous move, number one. But number two, I believe that did a lot of damage on his... That did a lot of damage on his shield. So let's... Uh, let's see. What, oh, using the uh, normal uh, neutral B. And... Getting there. Oh, shoot. Right, let's see what happens. Right here. Oh, hit, getting hit by back here. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, oh, getting hit by the up smash. Very unfortunate, uh, uh, but also very good call out uh, by Mabel right there. Uh, being able to catch PK Chris off guard. Alright, Maple with double back air setup. So you can know I think that's what Maple's been really strong at doing against PK Chris. Holding the center stage, but also trying to push him more towards the side of the stage. We saw him lose a stock for that, but you understand now that like what he understands Mar Dr. Morrow's advantages. So why not try to push those advantages as much as possible? Able to narrowly escape the down smash there. I think if PK Chris had probably held it up for just a second, he probably would have gotten that hit. That was good on Mabel though. Go just to go for the up B immediately, see how PK Chris is gonna react with the eye. But you have to give it to Ness's man. The Ness meta game has definitely changed over the few years that Ultimate has been out, right? You know, a lot of them go for PK Cross, some of them go for PK Thunder, but they understand in tangent of why using those moves is so important. It's to stall them at the ledge, but I talked about how Mabel is so good at holding center stage, and he knows where PK Chris had to land, man. And now up smash will do it. And there goes uh, the set to Mabel. And all those.